everybody and uh, welcome and um, we're here at uh, we're in County Sligo is it County Sligo yeah County Mayo actually is it or in Mayo <laughs> so yeah so we're in Mayo and uh, we're at the beautiful Don Patrick Head and we've come up to photograph um, the brush the sea stack so um, we stayed overnight in the van but uh, the plan was to get up this morning for um, sunrise but the rain was quite heavy this morning so we've we've held off now and it's no it's no half ten so um, it's a place I've been many times before um, but never really recorded anything and um, I suppose um, you know it's very easy to come and set up the camera but what are the thoughts behind that and you know it's a sea stack yeah we come and photograph the sea stack we put our camera down at the edge of the cliff and we photograph the sea stack and that's it and we walk away but um, you know I think there's a bit more into it than that for me there is anyway and I'm sure for every other photographer there is as well um, so for this particular image um, as you can see my tripod I have spread out the legs quite simply because it's very spongy and um, you know there would be um, so if I splay out the legs it gives me great support and the camera doesn't move as much um, I did try and put on my spikes this morning but unfortunately my rubbers are um, they're stuck on and I can't get them off so that was the first step um, well first step was composition so for composition I've decided to use um, this rock formation down here in the foreground and basically creating a, a visual link um, to the sea stack. Um, so I want to create, um, I'm creating my picture around the sea stack. The sea stack is the strongest element in my image. Um, everything else that I put into the image must complement the sea stack and not be any stronger if it's any stronger than the sea than the sea stack then it takes over so my main primary focus is the sea stack and everything else around it complementary um, i'm using as i say i'm using the foreground here this kind of a wedge um, to go to the sea stack and for me I, I i feel i don't feel that's any stronger than the sea stack itself yeah that's the thought process uh, i think it's very important when you um, it's hugely important when you approach a scene that you have a thought process that you don't just put your camera down take a photograph and go so just um, as regards equipment um, i use the olympus om system uh, it was omd it's now moved to om and i have here um, it's an em1 mark 3 and the lens is 7 to 14 it's a wide angle lens quite simply because um, I need the field of view I need for this has to be quite wide especially if I want to take in the foreground here so that's the mark one that's the m1 mark 3 7 to 14 lens I didn't have my Nissi um, holder Nissi 100 mil holder which is adapted to fit my bulbous lens um, I'm using two grads for this particular um, two filters um, I have a two stop medium on the sky which is pulled down probably just just to the horizon and it probably just filters into the top of the um, it probably just filters into the top of the stack and I have a six stop then a six stop ND just to smooth out the water it doesn't need smoothing out um, it's actually very very calm out there but um, just to give me a shimmer and that's giving me a shutter speed of about five seconds um, so I think I have an aperture f14 um, base ISO and six stop filter and that gives me a shutter speed of about uh, four seconds five seconds 